Hello my fellow spuds and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid with Logan Stone. So I um, had a bit of an eventful time off camera. I have crossed the bridge and I'm in this little town so this is the battle bus is just up there. Look what I found. I can actually open it. We found a heavy duty battery. Just by pure luck. I actually passed this one and completely forgot to actually check it simply because we had a horde of zombies that I had to lure away from around here down to the bottom and basically loop around so i'm really happy we found that it didn't take that much searching about a day there was also another thing that i want to show you up here if i can find it because i did pass a few different things i went into a shop and found a little box and a small bobble pack that was probably about it in terms of actual loot that i got uh the cool thing i think it's down this street is uh this now this is from ki5's mod containers I don't know how we get into it because when I go to click vehicle mechanics, it just throws errors up. I don't know whether we need a crowbar or something to open this up, but it would be awesome if I could take it back with me. Um, but I don't know if that's going to be possible just because it uh, it doesn't seem to give an option to open it. So I just don't know whether we have to have a crowbar inventory for it to be given an option. I don't know. Uh, the other thing was that I did find another vehicle. I can't remember what it was. I think it was a street down. Uh, do I risk it? I can't remember what it was now. I found a vehicle with another gas can in it. It was a... I, th I can't remember if it was a heavy duty one or not. But as I passed it, I quickly checked the boot just to see if there was heavy duty batteries. And there, I saw an empty gas can. And I had to run away because of the horde. So I'm going to see if I can grab that one before we head back. But I basically stayed up most of the night trying to find this thing. Went round most of the town and found basically nothing. The only thing that I found that might be, that looked interesting was uh, a hardware store. Oh, and yeah, that was the other thing. The, this is where the heavy duty one is. There is a caravan. And I'm kind of tempted to take the caravan, but at the same time, I really want to, I really want to uh, take the battle bus back with us. So it was this one here. I had to run because of a load of zombies. You can see the ones I end up killing. And there was this shop here and this shop here that I was interested in. Yeah, that was that was the horde that I ran away from. If I can get in here. There we go. Nice. I just want to check this out. I know it's I know it's probably a massive risk. Oh, it's empty anyway. The cams are empty. Fine, doesn't matter. We'll go. Um Okay, we've got a few. Uh, no, I'm not going to risk it. Oh, uh, should I? There might be propane. Okay, fine. Where's the other one gone? There it is. Uh, they're all up there. Quickly check in here, then. Nails concrete oh my god all that concrete there's so much concrete and there's more my god we could like build houses for days if i can get all that concrete i'm, I'm gonna have to come back for that stuff but <laughs> the fact that there's concrete and uh and that stuff means that we can make walls when we get carpentry high enough so that's really good that we found that because we can always come back for it another time but that means that we can make proper walls and proper base and paint it and all that other stuff yeah, this was the shop that I found the lure and the bobber one in, because it was one of the interesting ones that was a hardware store. Still haven't found any propane, though. So I'm kind of frustrated that we found zero propane. <laughs> Basically in this entire town. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done with looting. I've done quite a lot of it, so I just want to leave now. We've, uh, we've done our bit, got lots of stuff. Let's just chuck what we can in this battle bus. And what's cool about this is we can upgrade it. So I'm very keen to upgrade it once, once we get to that stage. Open this up. Plot the batteries around quickly before anything happens uninstall right we're good let's get in right oh we're off oh we're in the bus so we're just gonna have to swap the battery out when we get to the apc basically um and have this as towed but i'm pretty happy regardless can't believe we found this this is one of the vehicles i really wanted to find early on and we can upgrade this and you can add like spikes to the wheels and like uh roof racks and stuff to it turn here 
the APC should just be here. Right, and battery uninstall. Uh, the other thing that I did find, I found a uh, another spare tire in one of the boots, so I grabbed that out as well. We can start work on a little dock. Uh, let's siphon the gas off of this one. We have the rope on us, don't we? Yeah. Why can't we uh, attach? They're not close enough? Well, let's get the books that we've got out of here first. Right, I'm hoping a normal heavy-duty battery works on APC. I'm presuming it does. Right, install, 100% one. There we go. Can we just hook this up? Can we not hook them up? Oh, I thought we'd be able to. Is it just not able to do that? Maybe the, maybe the bus can't be towed. Oh, that's really annoying if that's true. That's a massive shame. I was really hoping to use that. We're going to have to go get that trailer then. Right, well at least we can leave. It's just a shame about the battle bus. Ugh. Oh, I really wanted to take it. Oh well. Well at least we get to have a trailer. Let's just run these two over. Oh god, okay, fine. Oh god. Alright, uh, just get in, just get in. Right. I just, just leave. <laughs> we'll have to come back. Oh. Alright, well we got what we came for. We, we got the APC. Oh my god. I'm really ticked off we couldn't take that bus with us. Really ticked off. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, towing a bus might be pretty, must be pretty hard. <laughs> uh, shame about the trailer. But I think I'm going to have to come back another time. Because there's still quite a lot of that town I haven't explored. I'm sure there might be other stuff maybe down the road and things. So we're going to come back here another time. We should hopefully have enough gas in this to get us to the other gas station and to start the generator. What I'm going to do is just park this directly next to a pump on the left-hand side. I've got the mod so fuel side indicator, so need to park it on the left-hand side of the pump. We'll start the generator up, and at that point we'll just pump all the gas into this, and we're good. I can't believe we walked all this way. So many zombies that we just walked straight past them all. Oh, here's a roundabout. Cool. Oh, and there they are. There's the horde. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you later. Oh, and here's the bridge. It's on the left-hand side. Right, siphon some gas off. I think we parked it way too close. Right, move up a little bit. Uh, to like there. Right, we only need the tiniest amount. Add fuel to the generator. Connect the generator up. Right, and turn on. Quickly. Refuel from gas pump. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's working. <laughs> and this can have so much fuel in it. Oh god, zombie. There we go. Okay, it's done. Right, turn off the generator. Actually, turn on quickly. What we'll do is we'll leave a... Take fuel. We'll fill this gas can up. We'll leave a can here. Yep, there we go. And we'll take fuel, fill up the other one. There we go. What we'll do is we'll leave one of them here next to the generator so we always have gas on us, worst comes to worst. Uh, we'll place that in the bin, just so we don't forget. Uh, we'll keep a can of gas on us for the boat, just in case we need it. Let's leave the heavy-duty battery here as well, because when, what we can do next time is bring the battery charger with us, and then we can charge the batteries as well when we get here. That'd be really good. Having the spare batteries with us just on the mainland would be essential anyway. Uh, take the items on the rear right seat. That means we can sleep in there fairly securely. Yeah, rear right seat. We shouldn't be able to be attacked here, I don't think. And in the morning, we'll set back off the boat and we will finally set off back home laden with stuff. It's a shame we couldn't find a second generator. But I think we've done pretty well. Okay, so that's most of the front bit cleared. It's probably going to take a few goes to actually transport most of this. I don't even know if all of it's going to fit in the boat. Right, uh, fill out from the bedroom first. I'm glad we emptied it all.
I'm so looking forward to getting into the tailoring aspect of this. Tailoring is normally a bit of a pain. So slow <laughs> to get into it. But I've got all the rip sheets. I just combined them all. We, and we've got all the cotton balls. We've got everything. Shame we didn't get the orange paint. However, I think we can technically make our own paint. So I'm excited to try that once we get our foraging high enough. I think we just need to find some orange flowers. And I presume we can do that through foraging. I wish I'd been able to get that trailer. I probably should have waited. I just wanted, I wanted, to, I wanted to keep going. I wanted to start... Because we've already been in town quite a long time. I'd rather just get it over and done with. Get back in. We can always make another trip into another town or back into the same town another time. It might be good to leave like some um, essentials in it anyway. Like if we left a bit of food or a bit of water. Maybe a spare screwdriver or something like that. Just so we've got spares just in case something does happen that we uh, we get stuck. Or we forget stuff like this time. If I'm honest. We might have to leave some stuff behind. I probably shouldn't have prioritised the uh, the cement and things, to be honest. But it's fine. We can always nip back another time. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay, I'm happy. We've basically emptied that completely. I think we're good. Head back to the boat. We'll have a little sleep on the boat. And then we will head off back to our little island, our little paradise. And we will go from there. Right, guys, conveniently there happens to be a storm going in just the right direction wind-wise to where we need to go so let's head back to the island look how fast the wind's going it's ridiculous <laughs> oh we can go so quick look at this oh the lighthouse okay we've we've gone too far oh oh no the lighthouse oh we're, we're too far across a uh, quick turn turn okay all right here we go we made it oh my god i just i just thought i'll equip the rifle just to have another go to see if we can hunt and look hunt with rifle so it's the same as before, but we look through the scope, I guess. This is very cool. Okay, well, we don't actually have any ammo for this yet, so it's a bit pointless doing this. Uh, I will have a go at that. Just after I've uh, dumped some of our stuff in. Oh, poor Mr. Plinky. Oh, it's so sad. All right, how's our stuff doing? Oh, they're seed bearing. Oh, nice. Okay, we get our first crop of cabbages. That's great. Oh, look at all these seeds. Look at all these cabbages. Right, let's have a check of the... Okay, they're well watered, no disease, they're flourishing. Excellent. Oh, I've got some good young onions. Excellent. I was worried they wouldn't do too well in the summer, but actually I think we've been quite lucky with the amount of rain we've been getting. Let's place our children's drawings that we stole from someone's house. There we go. We'll pretend that they're related to us. <laughs> oh god, is that a helicopter? Christ, uh, get inside. This might be like the first helicopter from Helicopter Expanded we've actually experienced. Uh, we're getting, getting... Right, okay. Um, on that note, let's get a drink here. We will uh, go to sleep, and in the morning we'll... Uh, well, later on we'll, we'll start fixing everything up. Right, something I haven't actually mentioned yet. I, I installed a new module called Manage Containers, which looks really cool. So if you right-click on a container, you configure it, and you can set what you want. I think if you just... Yes, let's take that out. I think what you can do is... Yeah, if you if you click something, you can set it so that. Oh God, look at that! What the hell was that? Was that a helicopter crashing, or was that? I don't know what the hell that was. Siren still going. Was that a like carpet bomb? What the hell was that? Got no idea. Yes, here we go. So what you do is you. Click on something, you can select which types of categories a container will receive. Once you've configured your container, you can select which items to transfer. There we go. So if you right-click on that, you'll put in assigned containers. So here we go. Put in assigned containers. There we go. And that was because we'd set it to food perishable. If we set it to junk, and then we put... And then we did put in assigned containers. Okay, only the junk would go in. That's really cool. Why is the milk powder junk? That should not be junk. <laughs> That's very cool. I really like that. That is very cool. Right, okay. Let's, um, let's go to sleep. And hopefully the siren will stop by then. And in the morning we can uh, do a bit of hunting, which will be nice. And a bit of uh, carpentry, because I want to get some wooden crates up and running. Sounds like another helicopter. I'm glad we're on an island. <laughs> if we were there in on the mainland with this happened, we would have been screwed. Right, tell you what, let's open some wine. I think Logan Logan needs some wine after after his um events. Let's let's have a little sit down. 
Let's uh, open one of the wines. Oh, I like that sound. That was cool. We get a cork. Doesn't seem like we can do anything with the cork. Oh well, well, a toast. Oh, it's been a long it's been a long journey. Time to sit down, relax. Your bottle of rose. Ugh, oh, just enjoy. Enjoy the sirens in the in the distance. Ah, oh, lovely. Right, now that I think that it's finally over. That's uh that's that's do some bits and bobs. I kind of I wanna start doing some uh I don't wanna do a bit of hunting. Oh look at my flooded base. Oh, it's so flooded, it's sad. Oh, everything's gonna be soaked in these. <laughs> I'm glad that's not implemented yet, if it ever will be, but yeah, cardboard boxes would uh would ruin under this much rain. Obviously what we need to do first of all is unpack the doctor's certificate and place that on the front. There we go. Dr. Logan Stone's abode. There we go. Lovely. <laughs> but I think we need some more like furniture or something for our little base. So what I'm gonna have to do, because we're so short on um carry capacity and we've got nowhere to actually put anything, is I'm just gonna have to pick something up and drag it to our base. Put it down then fill it up with all the goodies that we've got, and then go from there. Just because I, I don't even have enough inventory space to go back to our boat, grab the axe, and then go again, or even forage for anything. So I think having something like this would be good. Chance to break, 45. Oh, first time. Nice. Oh, it broke. Oh, that's sad. Uh, anything else I can grab, then? Another one in here? For those wondering, I will eventually make a roof on this, but we need to get to carpentry level 6 before we can actually make stairs to then make a roof. So it's, it's going to be a while till we get to that stage. Right, it's now morning. What I'm planning on doing is um, we're going to take some of these fresh cabbages that we've got and we're going to do some trapping. Because I did say we would do some trapping. Uh, 19, that should be plenty. Right, so I'm thinking we'll go uh, north or south. Go north. We want to be basically as far enough away that we can't see the base when we do that. So I guess up here, we'll go to this tree line here. There we go. Okay, and we'll start just placing these all around, I guess. And the good thing is we've only picked up half the traps that we've actually found. Like, there's still loads on that other island that we could potentially get. And I'm pretty sure most of the other har well, the harbour we came from from that big island seem to also have loads of traps we could have just taken. So I'm presuming we're not going to be... We're not going to be short of cage traps for a long time. Right, and we'll leave this, I think, until... I can't remember what the best time to check this is. I think is stuff more likely to get caught at night? I'm, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll check it basically within... Just before we go to sleep, so probably about end of the day, like 9, 10 o'clock, we'll come up and quickly check. And then we'll, uh, after that, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll check it again in the morning. And hopefully we'll have caught something. Right, so we'll leave them alone for the time being. We'll uh, we'll come back to them later. And the next thing we we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do some hunting. Some proper hunting. I want to see if we can actually catch something big. Right, insert the magazine. Because I've got to insert that. Reload it. There we go. Okay, now what we should be able to do is hunt. So hunt with rifle. Uh, nothing. So we're just going to want to keep looking around until we find something on the screen. I don't know what the chance of actually finding anything are. I think it's fairly slim. Right, let's open keep clicking on the same tree. Maybe we'll come across something. Oh god. Has escaped. Oh, that's cool though. And we got we, we got spooked when we saw the bear. Oh, it's cool to know there's actually bears on the island. Well, terrifying and uh, and cool because that means we've got food forever basically. So I wonder what we need to actually improve, improve this. Oh. I didn't hit it. Okay, so maybe we need to get our aiming skill up as well as our hunting skill up. Maybe that's how it works. Animal hurt has escaped. Oh. Hunt with rifle. It needs 37. It needs 100%. We've only got 37. Oh, that's why we couldn't do it before because we were foraging. Right, I get you. Where are you, Mr. Bear? Animal hurt has escaped. Hope we find something other than bear. Ooh. Animal hurt has escaped. That was a cow by the look of it. But this is all getting our aiming skill up as well, which is really nice. So yeah, we're uh, <laughs> we've actually gone up a fair bit in aiming just from doing all this. God, something's going on. It's like the military are bombing Cherbourg. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we leveled up in something. 
We leveled up in hunting. Oh, exciting stuff. I hit something. I actually hit something. What do we get? The sheep. Dead sheep. Tie up sheep. Can we grab it? My god, it's heavy. Uh, we need we need rope. How much rope do we need? Craft health for tie up sheep. We need four rope. Okay, right. Well, we need to see if we've got enough rope. I don't think we do. Rope, here we go. Okay, we've got the dead sheep. We uh, don't really have any space at all, so it looks like we just have to put it in our back. Right, let's grab some twigs and some branches. And we can get stuck into uh, cooking the sheep. I don't know if we need to have read a hunting magazine or something to actually, like, cut it up. Maybe we just need a knife on us, but it didn't give us the option. Slapper's knife? Okay, we'll grab the slapper knife. Yeah, knife used to butcher to and dissemble animals. Right, okay. I'm wondering whether we just had to read a hunting magazine? Maybe? Okay, maybe we'll just cook the dead sheep, I guess. That's a bit weird, but we'll try it. Uh, add fuel, tree branch. <laughs> this seems very weird to do. Uh, but if it works, it works, I guess. Right, it's taking a long time to cook this thing. Dead sheep, cooked! Right, put out fire. Right, so it weighs an absolute ton. Uh, hunger minus 53. Okay, how are we even meant to pick that up? We must be missing something, because that's, um, that's ridiculous that we couldn't, we couldn't pick it up because it was too heavy. And it didn't seem like there was an option to tie it on the ground. I've got no idea. Yeah, I've, I've got absolutely no idea about what to do with that. <laughs> we killed a sheep, cooked it, and we can't even pick it up to eat it. That seems a bit ridiculous. Um, right, all except the boots. Can we pick it up now? There we go. We can pick it up now. So we basically need to be naked to eat this sheep. <laughs> We're just eating a whole sheep. Just casually eating a whole sheep. It doesn't even give us that much hunger. There we go. Well, we're stuffed, but we better be because we ate a whole bloody sheep. Oh, well, that was not that was um that was an interesting hunting experience. Whatever the case, so that that was very very funny. Right, let's go to sleep and then we will check on our traps in the morning. Right, let's go check on these traps. See if we've caught anything. The cabbage isn't rotten yet. But we should still be able to use it. Just right, anything, anything at all. Uh, it doesn't look like they've caught anything. Oh, so the bait's gone, but we haven't actually done anything with it. Fine. Let's add some more bait. Yeah, most of the bait's gone, but nothing's been caught. That's fine. That's probably because of our low skill, I I guess. Right, okay. That's all the traps done, so not, not very successful at all. We didn't catch anything. It's fine. We've, uh, it was always a practice run. We caught a di We caught a sheep, though. I don't, I'm going to have to look that up to see why we couldn't tie it up, because I'm presuming the tied-up sheep is how we then actually gut it and do everything like that but it might simply be that we need to read a book on it i wouldn't be surprised if that's the case um right then i think i'm gonna call it there guys because i've i've shown you a bit of bit more of hunting we've actually got back to the island which is nice uh we've done a bit of farming we've placed all the traps we've done all that so next episode i'm gonna carry on working on the farm i'm gonna work on getting our carpentry up and actually expanding our base hopefully we can get to making a roof for this place which will be nice i think off camera i'm gonna read all the books that i haven't actually read yet um get them all done get them all sorted um which will mean that we can get our cooking carpentry all of that up very quickly uh even foraging and things because i want to i want to get on and get this base up and running sorted with a roof and we can make it nice then once we've got a roof and we can actually make some furniture, we can make it nice. We can put stuff down. I can go get the other furniture from the other places uh, and make, just make it more homely. Because at the moment, it's a bit of a dump. Not going to lie. It's a bit of a dump. We've got buckets inside buckets inside buckets <laughs> collecting stuff. And yeah, maybe I'll just turn this bit directly into a little bedroom. That might be nice. Just cut it off here uh, and then have separate rooms. That'd be nice. And then have this bit of something else. I, I like that idea. Maybe have this as the kitchen. This is the bedroom. That as something else. Who knows? We, we will see. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much to my patrons. Seth, Pet Oblot, Sarah, Drew, Clint, David, Aaron, Dale, Mikhail, Emma, Yeast, Zabarg, Rai, Kylara, Daniel, Damer, Len, Wolf, AJ, and Andrew. Thank you so much, guys. I can't thank you guys enough. 
actually before I go let's get one of our signature uh, let's get another dance move out we got these cards on us we got oh spe here we go look you got a new option special dances it's got the samba oh that's amazing <laughs> look at that that is incredible so thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one cheers bye bye